Que rollo con el Puma Jersey Seekers, welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be a sit down video, so I'm sorry if you guys, um, it might be boring, but we actually, you guys requested this video, so I want to give a huge shout out to my boy, Eric Nicholas, who actually requested this video. And I thought personally that it would be a great video idea, not just for me, but for you guys as well, because you don't learn this in the street, you don't learn this in school. I don't know why, for some reason, they don't teach this stuff in, in, the, in the school, right? They don't. Maybe it's... Even college, they don't teach it. Yeah, maybe it's for the same reason they don't want us to know, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you know? And here I have my older sister, Anita. Um, I thought, what better person than to make this video with? Because she plays a huge role in my credit, you know? So obviously today we're gonna be talking about credit, how to build your credit, some tips on credit, um, at least from us, you know? Because I, I personally think there is no real way to build your credit, you know? But there is certain tips you guys could take or we could give you guys that have worked pretty well with us, you know? Um, she is the reason why, I guess you could say, I have a, a pretty good credit history. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my, my hat upside down, because I'm very proud to be uh, Mexican and, you know, have pretty good credit history. So, I mean, I take Mexico, me da mucho orgullo, same thing with her, you know? We come from a, from a Mexican family, where credit is something that your parents actually get mad at. What our parents would get mad at they, us, right? They just didn't understand yeah, they don't why understand. if you didn't have the money to buy something, why you were going to get in debt to them. Yeah, exactly. Or why you were going to do certain things when you didn't have the money. To them, if you didn't have the cash, you just didn't buy it. Yeah. Sorry if it's loud, by the way. We're out here in Hawaii. We're, we're rocking for you guys as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned uh, on the next couple of uh, videos. They're, they're going to be pretty badass. As soon as I turned 18, uh, my parents never gave us tips. I don't know about her story, hopefully we'll ask her right now, but as soon as I turned 18, she was kind of like the, the the mother, I guess. She kind of just, she's the one who would give us uh, tips on credit, and she is a banker. So that's what I was saying, you know, what better person to have her here with us. Do shout out to my sister. She gave me my first credit card as soon as I turned 18. As soon as you graduated, she uh, she's like, you know what, bro, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you your first credit card, and she gave me a little bit of tips. But obviously, when you're at that age, I kind of just ignored her. I'm not even gonna lie. I just ignored her. I was like, yeah, just give me the credit card. I want the money, you know? At the time, I didn't have a lot of money. So I appreciate that. But later on, uh, it, it paid off in the long run. Because what you do want to what you do want to uh, have and do is you want to have a long credit history. You know, you want to you wanna get it as soon as you can. But you want to be very, very careful what you do with that money because just how it can help you out in the long run, it can also screw over and ruin your whole life. Believe it or not. You know, and I tell you guys all the time whenever I buy new trucks, brand new, brand new toys, that credit is a big deal. You know, if you don't have credit here in the Even United to States, rent a car, yeah, rent if, a house, if, if you anything. don't have credit here in the United States, then you're really nothing unless you have the money. You know, because I always get those comments where you know what, I could just come twenty, thirty, forty thousand and just buy it. Not yes, anymore. You can, there's sometimes there are certain places if you have the, the cash. They still don't want to rent you. Even if you want to pay them like months ahead, they still won't rent it to you because mm -hmm. they want to see how you really are, how you handle your money. Yeah. They don't want you to be like, you know, someone that has all this cash and just can't provide. Because yeah. for them, honestly, credit, the, what, what it is, it's kind of like a GPA. Think about a GPA. The That's higher true. the credit score is, the less interest they're going to charge you because they know you're going to pay back. Mm -hmm. when, when you have really bad credit, they know you're not going to pay back. They know you're, you're not responsible. They know you're not going to... You don't care. It's kind of one of those friends that's always asking you to let you borrow money and they never pay you back. Like, you wouldn't trust them. You You're not going to give it. You get tired of it. You will do it maybe one time to help them out, but then after, it's like, I'm not going to do it. Why? Because I know I'm not going to get it back. That's how the banks have to view it. The banks have to view it as, or is this person responsible? Is this person really going to pay us back? And things like that. So that's why they'll give you higher interest when you have bad credit because they know that maybe you're not as responsible. Yeah, and she, she proves a point there because I do have friends, I do have family that have asked me to let, let them borrow money. And to be honest, I know who I can let money borrow to and I know who not to, you know? And, and and that's just because certain times they haven't paid me back, they couldn't pay me back. And I know other family members, friends that have paid me back. So that, it is true what she's saying, you know? That's basically how, how you see it. Yeah, so to start off, the first credit card that she got me was from Wells Fargo to this day. To this day, I bank with Wells Fargo. And they had, I think they told me to switch banks and stuff, but no, I started off with Wells Fargo. And I kind of feel comfortable with Wells Fargo, you know? So I still have the first uh, credit card that I have. And then, uh, yeah, I got it uh, when I was 18. I'm 25 now, so how, how old is that? 18, 19, 20, 22, 24. 
I'm going for 25 in February, so it's almost seven seven years, but even all time flies. But yeah, what you want to do is you want to, uh, first thing first, get a job, and then you want to head over to a bank, right? A the, bank, a credit union, anything that has like a major Visa or a MasterCard yeah. logo, because those are the cards that you can use anywhere. If you need gas, you can use it. If you need clothes, you can use it. If you need food, you can use it. I don't really recommend getting the first card from like a store, just because you can't buy anything at anywhere else. For example, like if some girls, we like Victoria's Secret, we'll go to Victoria's Secret to give us a credit limit. But I mean, yeah, we'll spend the limit, but you can't use that anywhere else. If you have an emergency, need gas, or we have an emergency, need food, you can't use it there because it's only for that store. Yeah. So I recommend a universal one that you can use anywhere. Banks, credit unions, they have really good ones that you can always apply for and use anywhere. And then also, I think you were telling me that those uh, those are the ones that really count for your credit, right? Yes. Those because, are the ones that make the impact? Because some stores, they do their own finance. That means they, they, they're the ones that let you borrow their own money. Okay. So it's in-house finance. So it still reports to the credit bureau, but it's not as strong not as strong. if you were to use major credit cards from like Visa or MasterCard. So if you guys do want to get a credit card, we suggest, you know, like I said, we're not perfect. We don't want to make it seem like, you know, we got 800 credit scores, you know, none of that either. But from our experiences, everything's working out pretty well, you know. Um, and so what we would recommend is just go and get a credit card at a bank or as she said, uh, somewhere where you can use it everywhere because those are the, the ones that usually do make a, a impact on your credit score. But yeah, just um, don't max them out. And if you are gonna max them out. No, we only recommend 30% of the limit. Yeah. So if your limit is 1,000, maybe $300 a month. Yeah. Even the, though even though you have that thousand, don't be, touch it. Because it shows that you're being responsible. It shows that just because you have a high limit doesn't mean you're gonna max it out. Yeah. So it helps. I always recommend less than 30% on any credit card. Um, if you have multiple credit cards, rotate them. And by that, I mean, one month you use Bank of America, one another month you use Chase, another month you use Wells Fargo, for example, and you always want to pay it off. Pay more than the minimum and never, never, never pay late. Always have automatic payments where they take them out because sometimes we forget what day it is and one day difference doesn't make too much of a difference, but when you do it constantly, it will lower your score. Yeah. And then also, um, see, mine is a little bit different in my case. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, so when I first got my first credit card, I was maxing this thing out. <clears throat> Why? Because I was 18, I didn't really have as much money. But obviously this is, like I said, uh, there is no perfect way to build your credit, I guess you can say. You know, she, she didn't ever max hers out properly. And me, um, I was maxing out, I had 600, I don't you know, I have $600. But just so I had those um, $100 and I was in debt with it, I would uh, be responsible and pay them off. I would try to pay them off as soon as possible. So I would spend 600, max it out, and then like in the next three months, I would just pay like 200 and then boom, in less than three months, they were paid off. And then as soon as it was at zero again, I would do it again. A lot of people tell you to keep them at zero. It's, there's really no point, then why have a credit card? You know, you always wanna, each month you wanna carry a balance. Not a high balance, but you do wanna, right? It, it wanna, reports, it reports on the three credit bureaus what your balances are. Yeah. So if you ha always have a zero balance, they're gonna think that you're not using it as yeah. much. Um, but then again, you, but don't, wanna then again, you don't wanna max it out, you yeah. wanna use it. I personally use my credit card for everything. I don't use my debit card. I do have checking accounts, That's what I do. but it's because it gives me points. I get points off of it. Money back. Um, yes, money back. I always get cash back. And then not only that, but it's zero liability, which means if something happened fraud wise, they'll take care of it. You just call them, they'll send you a new card right over with the whole new card number and that's it. Um, another reason why too is because it's convenient. Um, I don't like to set up certain things or I like to purchase online. I want to make sure if, you know, I'm protected as much as I can and then I just pay it off as soon as I can. I get paid, it's paid off. So, yeah. so basically that, that's kind of what happened. So when I was 18, I started using uh, all my, my balance. I would max it out and then I would pay it off slowly. And then again, I would do the same thing and then again. And then I kind of continued to do that like for years, I guess you could say, you know, but I was never late on my payments. I would, even, if, even if one day I was a little bit tight than others, I mean month, then I would just pay, um, there's a minimum you could pay. And I mean, we don't suggest you pay the minimum if you have uh, if you have your, your, your balance is high. But I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, we could all agree, sometimes shit can happen Things and you, happen, you, can, you can get tight. But always pay at least that minimum and then later as you can, just catch up to it. But never get uh, used to it because then you say, oh, you know, this month I'll just pay the minimum, the minimum, you'll get used to it. And then that's how you're gonna go in debt. That's what you don't wanna do, you know? But yeah, that's that's how I did it. I did it for years, and then I purchased my first vehicle. It was that uh, that that uh, that crew cab for my parents, you know. And a lot of people don't know, you know, because I don't really talk about this. But the real, real reason why 
I bought that truck was because I was getting to I was getting ready to purchase a house, right? But when I was talking to my realtor, she told me, you know what? Um, things might look a little hard for you because you you have good income and you have the income there, but you don't have a big debt. So when you try to go buy a house, um, you're gonna have a, a, a hard time qualifying because the banks are gonna be like, well, yeah, you you bought like things that are like thousands. You spend your credit cards on thousands, but once it comes to like uh, or hundreds, but once it comes to buying a house, you can't compare. Like a little, little debt, three, like some three thousand little debt investment. to a five, almost half a million dollar house. You know the bank's gonna be like, well, how can we trust this guy? Even though there's money, he hasn't really spent that much. So my realtor suggested that I made a big purchase, and by that it had to be something close to like thirty thousand. You know, so when I went, it's because I've never got in a car from the dealership. You know, my car, my trucks were off in the street. In their case, they 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 uh, they bought cars okay, from the dealer. See, they got the cars from the dealers, but they, they still weren't ready to buy the house. In my case, it was different. I wanted to jump to the house. I didn't want to go in depth with the car, but my realtor was saying this was going to be nearly impossible. My realtor told me, you know what? Well, you still are not going to qualify for the house because you need two years for a, a bank statement. Tax so, returns. Yeah, tax returns. Two years so, of tax returns. So what, what my realtor recommended me was, so since I still had one year to wait, she's like, well, just go in depth with this car and try to pay it off before you before you, you try to buy the house in that year. So you have a zero debt when you buy the house, That's exactly what I did. I bought that, I bought the, I purchased that truck and I went in debt, uh, that truck I got it for, I believe like 33,000. And then I still remember because that was my first big purchase, you know, I was still scared. So I called both of my sisters and I was like, hey, uh, what do you guys think about this, this this truck, you know? They're like, how much is it? What's the APR, you know? APR, what does that mean? APR, um, Annual percentage rate. It just yeah. means the interest. How much you're gonna charge for yeah. borrowing? Credit so, so, so this you wanna you wanna be careful. But like I said, every everybody's case is different, you know. But you do you do wanna be careful because when I called them, they told me, you know what, brother, like um, the APR they were giving me was like a the first one was an eight, which was super super high for a car. It was super super high. So they kind of um, me, 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 yeah, they made me aware. Y como que they, they, they gave me, me a little bit. I was like, damn, my sister's telling me no. But I'm a risk, I'm a risk taker, you know. Sometimes, like I said, everybody, everybody's money is different, you know. So you kind of just gotta work with what you know you you could do, you know. So both of my sisters told me, bro, don't do it because you know you can may, may, maybe find a better deal. I was like, you know what? I'm already here. They already ran my credit. It's gonna you know it's gonna take points down. Might as well just take it. And I was like, should I listen to them or should I not? I was like, you know what, I'm just not gonna listen to them. Hopefully it doesn't uh, ruin me in the long run. I didn't listen to them, it was good. In this case, it was really, really good. I didn't listen to them. I mean, they were doing it for my own good because, you know, but like I said, everybody is different. Well, it's compared to different because we yeah. never pay the high of interest. Like, high. for us, it's like 0% to a percent But, but what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is the difference here was that their APRs is a lot lower, right? Because what was yours, your first car, or, or what's a good APR you would, you would say for a car? Right now, the interest rates have gone really high. So right now, it probably would be at 8%. Uh, but back then, it was probably, I I mean, my first car was at 0%. Oh. But it's because I've always had good. really good credit. Yeah. Like, I've always taken care of my see, credit. So has, and I've, I've been in banking for over 10 years. I mean. yeah. so see, so that's when it, that's when it, uh, where it came and, and it came different because they were telling me not to. And I just went. I did it. I had high APR. But I knew and I, and I knew that I was going to. Pay trying off. to finish paying off that truck in less than a year because I was trying to get the house, and that's exactly what I did. Icho y dicho, um, I paid thirty three thousand in less than one year, which is freaking insane. My payments were like, my minimum payments were five hundred, and I was giving like two, three thousand dollar payments a month. But that's because I knew I could do it, and that's because I wanted that house really, really bad, you know. So in this case, the APR didn't really matter. But it was a short term. Yeah, because like, it, it wasn't going to be a long term purchase. Yeah. Like you were not going to have it for seven, ten years. Yeah. You know? So that's what happened there. So everything worked out really, really good. And then right when I was going to get the house, um, boom, I owed zero dollars, paid off all my credit cards, and then the bank said, "Holy shit! Like this guy just went in debt a year ago with a thirty-three thousand dollar truck, and he paid it off. Now we can trust him because he's had a big loan, you know. So I think that was the right mm -hmm. thing to do. That's what I did. And then now, right after that, they gave me my house, no problem almost a half a million dollar house, I had zero problems qualifying. But that's exactly how I did it, you know, I kind of just, my credit cards, I never, uh, I never had them at zero. I'll be honest, I kind of just have like little balances, but I do pay on time, I do pay if I have the money extra, and then, and then I think that's gonna set yourself up, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the things that most people don't know, and not everybody offers it, certain banks, you can add your kids when they're little, Yeah. as long as they have a social. So like, for example, what I mean with that is, I have my credit card, I have really good credit. I want to build my daughter's credit right now that she's little. So when she turns 18, 
she qualifies for certain things that are gonna be that she's gonna need school loans cars or whatever she needs so I gave her I, as an authorized user I added her to my card so then they mail her a little card like a little credit card with my limit on it and then I just keep it I keep it away from her obviously she doesn't use it but it's a way for me to help her out so that I prepare her for the future and you know she has a better chances or better opportunity than I did because my parents didn't know what credit was or how important credit place mm -hmm. in our society now but that is something that I think it's great that if you start thinking of your kids now when they're little and helping them out it'll be easier you. for them than but it is for us that's something I still haven't done something I haven't looked into but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it 100% because I don't want my my daughter to, to to suffer you know especially because we have to break those chains of our parents in a raises like that if they didn't do it it doesn't mean that we have to do it you know we're trying to we're trying to better uh give our, our kids a better, a better future. future you know but yeah so i'm gonna look into that i'm gonna you know really do that but yeah um, but the main tips are you know just pay on time pay on time never max, PRs, it never max never it out never be late never be late and then um, rotate them if you have multiple ones rotate yeah. because what happens is banks if you don't if you have a credit card but you never use it over a year yeah. sometimes they'll cut down the line and then yeah. you lose that history i remember and most people don't know that they're like well i just don't use yeah. it well you have to use yeah. it because there's not. no point the bank sees it's like why do you want a credit credit card if you're not like we're giving you money here here's the money you're not using it for a reason and they can give it to it. someone else yeah. instead yeah. Yeah. yeah and then also yeah i remember also uh, let me throw this in there before we finish off this video um so i have four credit cards and with four i, I qualify for the house so if you guys might ask yourself how many credit cards do I need? Um, you know, people would tell people would say all you need is one. People would tell you you need like ten. You know, from my experience, I did it with four. Uh, one of them is a bank. Wells Fargo. That's the first one I opened. So uh, after that, I have a Walmart credit card, mm -hmm. which is that one. Is, it's from Walmart, but it's a Visa where you can use anywhere. Yes. You know, so and then when I shop at Walmart, it gives me money back, the points. I have a Best Buy one, which is really really uh, hard to qualify for. It's City. In reality, it's City, City but it's your Best yeah. Buy. But same thing, that one is a MasterCard I can use anywhere in the mm -hmm. world. And then I have one more, what is it? Oh no, you know what, I lied. I only had, oh I had four, this is what I was gonna tell you guys, I had four. Those were my three main ones that I have to this day. And then another one that I had was, when I was uh, upgrading my truck, I went and I applied for a, for a sound system. I didn't have money, so I applied for it, but that's what we're telling you, try not to get those guys. Try not to get those guys because those are really, there's no point. And that one I let it close already like three years ago because I didn't need it anymore. I just needed it once for a sound system. And it messed up my credit. It didn't mess it up, but it just it, it took the points down. It took the history and, away. And, and then it freaking now, now that's the only card that has closed, but because I let it because there was no point for it. Like I don't really need s systems all the time, you know. So that's yeah. why I be careful with what, uh, who you bank with. But yeah, um, we hope this video could uh, help you guys or will help you guys in the future. I know I know a lot of you guys are young. Please listen to us. I mean, I'm um, sometimes it, it sounds easy. You know, we might we might make it seem easy, but it's gonna it's gonna get hard. You know, so that's why we say don't max them out and stuff. But there is no real right way to build your credit. But if you listen to our tips, then you should you should uh, you should be good. Yeah. And then to this day, I've never been denied anything that I try to buy. Same thing with her. So yeah. Um, but I remember I was telling my sister right now. You know, I wish I would have seen videos like this, or at least my favorite influencers or YouTubers. Um, because obviously we kind of just we look out for uh, we we look after them. Everything they do, we want to be. Yeah, we yeah. role model. So I wish some of my YouTube, uh, YouTubers I watch or influencers that I watch would talk to us about this. So that's why I'm trying to uh, give you guys a message, you know, because I know a lot of you guys. Um, I'm a role model to you guys, and thank you guys so much for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm only trying to give you guys good advice. I would never give you guys bad advice, you know. Yeah, but yeah, help them out because I mean yeah. it's something that. Yeah. Like, and like I said, we wish we knew sooner. Yeah. And you I know, know, I know, I know a lot of you guys' parents are just like my parents. The old school being in the, the, the rancho, yeah, and they don't know this stuff, you know. Because now my parents, you still try to talk to them about it, and they're like, I don't know what you just said, but you made it happen, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If, it, if you guys think this is a uh, helpful, smash that like button, comment down your guys' ideas. How how is your credit looking like? If you guys are already older, if you need to channel, become a channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video, please.